All right, welcome back. Here we are. We're in the last module. We've covered a lot of stuff. And now here you are. You're tasked with, in this module, working on a comprehensive group project that kind of ties things together, utilizing object-oriented programming. Got resources to help you get through everything you've got to get through. And if we pop into our Module 10 reading, it's Chapter 12, Disposal and Garbage Collection. And I'm not digging deep into this. This is dealing with things that we don't want to have blocking what we're trying to do. It's almost like saying, all right, when I'm done, Let's utilize the finally block. I want to have the ability to use try catch if I need, and we've dealt with that already, but I want to be able to dispose of things, close things, and say, all right, I'm done here. And that's in essence what's happening in this module. I'm not testing you on this. I'm not quizzing you on this. Just providing this information so that if you've got time, go through it. Main focus on this module is this group project. We've got a discussion where we go through and talk about the things that we're dealing with. Reflection. Give feedback on how everything went. But I want to jump into a couple of things. First off, the lectures that I've got for you. Great guy that does awesome presentations. You, I've got them in many other modules. Walking through object-oriented programming, inheritance, polymorphism, things we've talked about before, but this hits the nail right on the head and drills down into these four concepts um, two that you need for that group project. The group project deals with polymorphism, inheritance, and object-oriented programming. So these two are huge for you. The second two are going to be big for you should you be and if if you're not that's fine if you're not taking the COP 3530 course uh, if you got time go watch these videos they're both great if you are taking the COP 3530 course watch these videos they will help you and some of the others that I mentioned in previous modules a collection module yep probably I think four videos back there very important for you moving forward if you're taking COP 3530. All right. So these two videos will help you with that group project. Let's go back and look at the group project. So in this group project, uh, I guess I've got the bad link in there and I'll fix the link between now and when we deal with actually post this share this out so here's the final project classes and objects the group project I only need one group member to submit this so you're going to download this PDF it has your directions in it and down here below depending on what term will dictate when this is due how long it's available this is for every term it's going to be due at the end of the term the maximum last time that I can get this uh, and still have time to evaluate them All right. so this assignment ties to course learning outcome and it also ties to program learning outcome so we're dealing with accessors, mutators, constructors, right? and each one, I'm gonna go through and there's 200 points associated with it. 
if you got the constructor, I've got it in here twice. But they're in here in a way that I can capture data for specific PLOs. So when it comes to constructor, there's 50 points available for constructor. Just broken up between the two program learning outcomes. So you have an idea of what it is that we're looking for when grading it. And let's dig into what the task is. What, what are you going to have to do? So at this point, you've already created GitHub repos. And your group will utilize somebody's repo to keep track of your project. Like I said, there's two program learning outcomes that are being measured. One's talking about control structures, the other's designing and implementing it. Now, you're creating a class named contractor. That class has in it the contractor name, number, start date. You're going to write one or more constructors and the appropriate accessor and mutator functions methods for that class. And then you're going to create another class that is an instance of that contractor class that is subcontractor. And that subcontractor is a derived crop class from contractor and it has a shift data type as an integer and an hourly pay rate. Contractor doesn't have those, but some subcontractor does. And then here's how you're going to go about doing what you need to do relative to the contractor and subcontractor. All right. So think about it like you've got a contractor. It could be you're contracting anything. Could be construction, whatever it is. Uh, there's a differentiation between what a contractor has associated with it and then what a subcontractor has. So the subcontractor will have all of these functionalities and attributes that you've created for contractors. You'll have your gets and your sets. Right. So when it comes to contractor name, get set. Contractor number, get set. Start date, get set. <coughs> Excuse me. And then when we have our subcontractor, they will inherit all those and they will also have shift and hourly pay rates with gets and sets associated with them. And you go through step by step, interpreting each one of these tasks. When you're done, submit a link to your repo, one per team. Along with the link, submit a PDF. Now, this is a group project. In this PDF, explain what your project did. Because they're not all going to be the same. Yeah, they're all about contractors and subcontractors. But you are not limited to just these three. You are not limited to just these two. If you expand beyond them, document it. How you go about doing what you're doing for the 3% shift differential document it. So you're going to document what you did along the way and your PDF. Think about it like a here's a what we did section. Okay. Let me know what hurdles you dealt with and how you dealt with them. Was it uh, interpersonal issues, communication issues, coding issues? What kind of hurdles did you run into and how did you address them if you were able to resolve them. And then along with that, if you had more time to work on this project, what would you do differently to either improve or expand the code that you created? I only need one submission per team. Okay, That's the nuts and bolts of it. Going back to those object-oriented, two object-oriented programming videos 
that will help reinforce what it is you're doing here. Okay. So we're just using C sharp to perform basic object oriented programming tasks. You're doing it as a group. It's a project, we'll call it final project. Should you have questions, whatever, reach out. Let me know what's going on. And with that said, I appreciate you in this term and everything that we've done. And I'll see you in the next course.